Shopping for jeans sucks. <laughs> Jeans are probably the hardest article of clothing to shop for. You could have the exact same style and size from a ton of different brands and no two are gonna fit you the same way. Over the past couple months, I have bought, tried on, and returned so many jeans, I can't even begin to guess the number in search for my perfect pair. But I ended up discovering three different styles that I'm considering to be the best jeans for short curvy women. I did the work so you wouldn't have to. These are going to be wardrobe staples, especially if we share a similar body type, which I'll get into in a second. But first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty and sometimes fashion. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. At the top of every fashion video, I like to share my body type so that way you can kind of get a feel for whether we have a similar body or if something may look a little different on you than it does on me. I am 5'4", 145 pounds. I'm a size eight in jeans or a 29 if you're going by the inch sizing. And I have a long torso. So even though I'm petite overall, most of my height's in my torso and that makes shopping for jeans even harder because the waist often doesn't hit me where it's supposed to hit me based on the jean style. But like I said, all three of these jeans fit me like a dream. So let's just get straight into them. The first pair I wanna share with you are Levi's 311 Shaping Skinny Jeans. So these are the first jeans that I stumbled upon that I fell in love with. Now I know, skinny jeans are supposed to be out. Yeah, that's not happening for me. <laughs> especially as a petite woman, especially as someone who has shorter legs, skinny jeans elongate my legs and in general sort of make my body look more proportionate. So you will never see me turn my back on skinny jeans, but I do have two straight styles coming up, so don't worry. Now the cool thing about these skinny jeans is that they are not toothpick skinny. The ankle is not skin tight or tapered really dramatically. So I like that you don't end up getting that like really early 2000s skinny jean look, like the Charlotte Russe skinny jeans that were just a second skin. <laughs> now these are 60% cotton and they do have stretch to them. They feel so soft, but they are not jeggings material. You're not gonna put these on and feel like you're in leggings. They do feel like real jeans, just a little bit more flexible. <laughs> they have a good thickness to them. They feel really high quality. I know that these are going to last me a while. Now, just for reference, you are seeing me wear the wash called Darkest Sky. They are a really beautiful dark wash blue, but I actually also have this exact same pair in black, just for a little variety. And on the black pair, they have also made the back label black so it doesn't stick out as much. And instead of a red tab, there is a black tab that says Levi's on the back pocket. As for the sizing, I absolutely love that Levi's uses inch sizing. So similarly to men's sizing, you have a waist measurement and an inseam measurement. And my absolute perfect fit in these jeans are a 29-28, which is also the equivalent of an eight short. Now I bought these on Amazon. They came out to about $41, but on the Levi's site, they have way more colors as well as sizing options. On the Levi's site, they're about $60, but they are constantly having 30% off sales for like no reason at all. It seems like every time I'm on their site, there's a 30% off coupon, which kind of makes them about the same price as Amazon. And if you sign up for their like free rewards membership, you do get free shipping on all orders. It comes in about a week and a half, but it's still free. So if they have a size that you can't find on Amazon, I would highly suggest just ordering it straight from the brand and doing it that way. I will leave both the links for these jeans on Amazon and on their site in the description below. Now, obviously I liked these skinny jeans enough to buy them in two different colors, but then considering, you know, straight leg jeans are on the rise, I hadn't worn straight leg jeans since like middle school, but I figured I should give the trend a try. And so started my search for straight leg jeans that did not make me look short and frumpy. <laughs> so again, after a lot of bad luck, I ended up circling back to Levi's. And I actually found that they had a straight legged version 
of the skinny jeans that I loved so much. So these are the 314 shaping straight jeans. These have an extremely similar fit through the hips and the thighs, but then once you get to the knee, you have a straight leg down. This fit almost reminds me of a hybrid between skinny jeans and straight jeans because they kind of fit like skinnies in the hips and the thighs. You get that curve accentuation, that shaping, that stretchiness, but then you have the straight leg starting at the knee and the very much looser ankle. I guess you could consider these like slim cut straight jeans. These are also made with the same fabric blend as the 311s. So they're 60% cotton. They have some stretch to them. Again, they feel durable though. These are the first pair of straight leg jeans I have ever tried on that still highlight what I like about my body while giving me that kind of looser fit at the bottom. Cause a lot of straight leg jeans take away my curves, make me look shorter. These don't do that. So I love that I'm able to get in on the straight cut love without sacrificing feeling good about myself. <laughs> So these are in the wash called Morning Dew. They are a very classic light wash blue jean. And the thing about the shaping straight jeans and the shaping skinnies is that not only are they a little bit stretchy and very curve friendly, but they kind of also hold everything together. <laughs> the brand does say that there is like a tummy slimming panel in here. It's not anything that I can feel, but it's definitely something that I appreciate when these are on because that lower pooch area does not get accentuated at all in these. I got these in the exact same size as I got these skinny jeans. These are 29, 28s or eight shorts, 29 shorts. And they were the same price on Amazon as they are on the Levi's site. So I would kind of recommend you just buying them from the brand because they have more shades and size selections. And as I film this, there is another 30% off coupon code on the Levi's website. So seriously, like you will never have to buy these jeans full price. For me, $60 for a pair of jeans sort of seems like a lot, but Levi's has such great quality that I would hands down pay that for a pair of jeans that's gonna last me years and years and years versus spending $20 on a pair of jeans that gets a hole in the thighs after six months. <laughs> all right, this last pair of jeans really surprised me. We all know that the high-waisted, straight leg, and even wide leg jean look is very in style right now. Bringing back the 90s mom jean, I love it. I actually think that this style of jean works really well on curvy bodies. I was a little hesitant as someone shorter to wear a wide straight leg. I knew that that was a recipe for making me look like a toddler, <laughs> but I figured if I could find jeans that were high rise enough, that would sort of balance the look out with my short legs. However, like I mentioned, my long torso makes it almost impossible to find high-waisted jeans that actually fit me that way. I have even tried on ultra high-rise jeans that barely get past my belly button. But being two for two with Levi's already, I wanted to see if they had a style that I thought might work for my body, and I found what they call rib cage rise jeans. These fit me so well. <laughs> so if you have a long torso and you have such a hard time finding high-waisted jeans, you gotta check out Rib Cage Rise. So these are the Levi's Rib Cage Straight Ankle Jeans. I bought this pair on Amazon. This was the most expensive pair at about $70, but they are even more full price on the Levi's website without a coupon. With a coupon, it ends up being about the same. Now these are supposed to be like a cropped jean, but because I'm short, they actually fit me really like a true ankle jean. Now, even though these are a wider cut, true straight leg jean, because they hit you so high on the waist, they do help enhance the length of your legs. I love how these fit, they are so on trend, and it makes me excited that I can wear something that is trendy and it actually looks good on my body. Now, these are 85% cotton. They are a little bit more of that classic classic denim feel versus the other two. However, they have stretch where you want there to be stretch. So like in the hips, in the thighs, and in the knees. 
very easy to move around in them, very comfortable. Now, I do wanna mention the fly on these. These have a button fly all the way down, which originally sounded like a nightmare to me <laughs> because especially like going to the bathroom, like taking them off, putting them on, it just sounded like a lot of work. However, this fly is actually really well constructed where there is a thinner layer of denim behind the front of the pants, and that's what you're actually buttoning them into. So the buttons slide into the buttonholes really easily, and you can actually just kind of pull them apart. So that ended up being a lot easier of a situation than I thought it would. Now with this pair, I did order my normal size of 29, even though a lot of the reviews on Amazon said that sizing down was a little bit better of a fit for most shoppers. I found my normal size to fit me very, very well, and there is not a lot of gapping in the back. I'm pretty sure that's why some people said they needed to size down. Especially if I'm tucking a shirt in, the jeans look like they sit completely flush against my back. If I do wanna wear a crop top with this, I still don't think that it looks too loose around my waist. I'd be a little bit worried sizing a whole size down, especially with the button fly and these not being as stretchy as the other two styles. These just fit me so comfortably in the tummy and the thighs where I just don't feel the need to size down. I just wanna show you a quick comparison of the lower leg and ankle width on all three of these jeans. On the bottom, we have the rib cage ankle straight jean. This is definitely the widest, pretty straight cut from the thigh all the way down to the ankle. Then we have the 314 shaping straight. Again, these only really become straight cut once you get to the knee. And then on top, I have the 311 shaping skinny jeans. And here you can really see the difference. There's not a lot between the 311 and the 314. You just get a little bit slimmer of a calf and ankle. Two more things I wanna mention specifically about buying Levi's jeans. This is super important. So on the back pocket of every pair, there is a red tab. It's their signature and it says Levi's on the tab. There were a lot of people in the Amazon comments saying that they thought they got fake jeans because the red tab was blank. This is not the case. Those are still real Levi's jeans. So the brand has actually posted about this on social media and they confirmed it with me over customer service chat. But one in every 10 Levi's ends up having a blank red tab. It'll just have the restricted logo. And apparently this has something to do with actually maintaining the exclusivity of the red tab on the back pocket so they're the only brand that can do that. I have gotten blank red tab jeans straight from the brand. They are authentic. You don't have to worry about that. In fact, they end up being kind of a special pair because it's only one in every 10 pairs that are manufactured. Speaking about their manufacturing process, Levi's has a new initiative called Waterless and a lot of things that the brand is doing as a whole to be more sustainable and eco-friendly. And that has honestly like earned my loyalty to the brand. So when a pair of Levi's has the Waterless label, there's also a tag inside that says waterless. The brand says that their new waterless process saves 11 gallons of water per pair and they saved 4 million gallons just on their spring collection alone. The brand also launched a denim recycling program and a trade-in program where you could bring up to five items at once and you get a gift card. And they've started to sell secondhand Levi's from trade-ins on their website. So I hope that I helped you discover a new pair of jeans that you will love. Everything will be linked in the description below, including all of the tops that I wore in this video, which are from Amazon. Have you found your pair of unicorn jeans or Goldilocks jeans that fit you perfectly? Let me know what they are in the comments below, especially if we have a similar body type. Today's shout out goes to Electric Juice Box. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I try all six new Essence eyeshadow palettes. I'll see you over there. Bye. Yeah.